Morning, YouTube. It's me. It's super tough boys here. But it's actually happening. We've done it. It's uh, started it. We started it, yeah. Uh, we're doing the Mortimer's Trail. Uh, we're all loaded up. We're doing it over two days with our wild camp tonight. And uh, we're a bit apprehensive because these packs seem heavy. But I'm sure they were heavier in past years. So we're, we're going to give it a go. So we've just left Kington. And we're just sort of picking our way through the fields. Trying to find the route. And then we'll be up there. Which looks higher than it does down here. So somewhere up there is where we're, where we're heading. And then, then it'll be fine. It'll be easy after that. So we'll catch you later. Well, we've done a bit of uphill. A bit of puffing and panting was had by all, but uh, we're up quite high actually, aren't we? Oh, high enough. So where's that over to then? That's that's heading Lempster Way, is it? And that general direction. I thought so. That's yeah. Malvern over there. Isn't it? Yeah. So we're we're out into sheep country now and we've decided we're heading up to our little clump of trees at the top so we're all right we're still here we haven't bullshitted you yet by <laughs> driving around all the tops <laughs> but that, that is a plan c that's the black mountains is that kington in the bottom it's gotta be isn't it big town like that yeah and obviously that's the road out to Pristine, a little bit open now. Still going up. We're still friends. We're not lost, we're just checking. Where okay. do we go right now? <laughs> we got... So we want to carry on a bit over there. We should come to. So we get to a sort of. There should be a drop off, shouldn't there? What's the name of that bit of wood? Little Brampton Little Scar. Little Brampton Scar. So we've done that. We've actually realised we've seen a bit of the Offers Dyke up there. It's not much to look at, but it is there. So we're now going to head up that tree line and over the top. Look at that sort of bowl shape in there, isn't it? That's good. Is that have your, glaciation? Have your, um, have your game cover in there, <laughs> your pen up there, right, and just dri dri drive them through. It'd be brilliant. I expect they probably do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do nasty things like that. Ooh, look, this is a very man-made wall here. And there's a great. There's a man who made it. So it looks like. Quarry, old quarry workings. You fall in there. Wow. You need to break out the GPS again. I think, think I might have gone right when we should have gone left. Yeah. Wow. For a view. There we go. There's our milestone already. Kington four and a half, Ludlow twenty five and a half. So only twenty five. Only twenty five and a half to go. But we are making progress. Hello. Well, it's late morning now. I don't know what the time is. I haven't got my watch on, but uh, we're on the top of a hill. Uh, we've got almost, almost a 360 degree view here. Probably won't get on the camera. That's the Black Mountains again over there. So we've done a bit of a circle round. And we've come from over that direction. I hope that was very informative. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going somewhere over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got it all under control. 
and we're soon soon to reach Titley. So Titley must be down in the bottom of that. So anything I can assume. And then we'll go a bit of a loop round, and then we end up going up there, which is we know Wapley's there. Recognise it, but it's just how we get to it. Yeah, there's a the style there, isn't there? We're all right. Feet are all right. Legs are okay. Shoulders. No, no, bit achy shoulders for grey. But um, a big beast on there. I hope it doesn't start moving fast. A big moo cow. Yeah. As long as it's not got a big pair of shiny bollocks, you should be alright. But uh, I don't think it's uh, don't think it fancies you grey, you're alright. I might be able to outrun you, that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had it, I'm just going to take it like a man. <laughs> just let him finish. <laughs> well, I think we found Titley, which is in front of us. I think Titley Church is directly ahead, so what does that make? We get there and we've got to go round there, haven't we? Hold on. What am I talking about? Have a look at the view. Well, we just arrived at Titley Church, which I've driven past this million times. So I know this little bit of the route. Oh, Jack Russell attack. So this is the road from Prestine to Kington. Uh, both mine and Graham's are pretty much daily commute. And uh, so we're going to go left. Left and the right, isn't it? Down that lane that goes to... Yeah, recognise that. Stag at Titley's up there. And we're going up here. I think there is a footpath that cuts the corner, but we might as well just yomp round the road, and we? Just about to walk underneath the old Titley, Prestine, Kington, not sure the actual route, but it's the old railway line. And there's a bridge, what's left of it. Uh, we are at Stansbatch, Stansbatch, the village of Stansbatch, and uh, now it's straight on, straight line to the top of Wapley Fort. So I'm not going to film much of this because I won't be able to talk. It'll be a bit embarrassing. <laughs> It'll be a bit uh, <laughs> Hands and knees by the end. wheezing away. So we'll show you at the top. We've got some water at the top. Hoping it's still there. And as I speak, is that a kite? It is a kite. Yeah. You probably won't see that. It's got the red forked tail. How about that? So we'll show you a few foxgloves. See of them. <sighs> Told you I wouldn't say much. Right now, this is the test of the system. Somewhere in here, I put some water. <laughs> Where the hell was it? Okay, just give me five minutes. <laughs> we found a stash of water. You see, we've got my little label on it. Look, saying, if you find this, please don't nick it because we might need it. Right, rest time, have a bit of lunch, and uh, sit now for five. Okay. Afternoon. We've had a rest at top of Watley Fort, and then we, having been all refreshed and refueled, we headed off and then headed off in the wrong direction. Probably blame me for that. Wasn't concentrating, and uh, got to the car park, realised that we shouldn't be. So we've turned round and come back, uh, and now we're sort of picking our way through what we think is now the correct route. 
Uh, but what a view from up here. Here we get that view tonight when we're asleep, which won't be difficult. But yeah, this is a bit overgrown and not trodden. So we'll just sort of pick our way through this. Very overgrown path uh, there, but a hell of a view to the left. Yeah, I think we're going to go down a very steep section now because I've seen it from the road. French. Well that bit was quite horrible. It was really overgrown and really quite steep. But uh, we made it. Made us some strong stuff, they had to beat us. I'm never gonna think that area again when I drive through because <laughs> I do so every day without a pair in the road. Yeah, drive past this end of the road and have a bat an eyelid. So we are now on the road from Shobden to Prestine. Uh, we cross that to the little village of Byton and then we've got a real horrible steep climb. Even the contour lines on the map are just like one big brown sludge. So uh, work it out from that. So we are heading up into those woods really, aren't we? That is the back of Shobden Hill Woods. We've got some more water up there. How exciting. When we get up there there'll be some water. We should have stashed a couple of cans of lager. And um, yeah, so we'll show you the nasty bit when we get there. Afternoon folks. Well, we're at Byton. And uh, the next bit, I think, is probably the hardest bit of the whole thing because we've got to go up that. You can see that, and that is bloody steep. And so we've got to head over that field and then round and up into the top of that forest. So that that's the end of Shobden Hill Wood. So I'll put some drone footage up because I did some. You might want to see much because it was very murky, but uh, yeah, so we're going to hit sort that out and then we're going to have a break, so you might not see much. Afternoon, I think the time's about four o'clock ish, and uh, we're at the top of Shobden Hill Wood. We've done a horrible climb up there, there's human height in brambles and ferns and nettles, and nettles. So we're all glowing a bit. We could be sleeping under the stars tonight, we be red hot. But uh, we've just brewed up, we're having a little coffee break. Everyone's having a bit of paella. Yeah. Cup of tea. Cheers. And then we've got a nice sort of steady long amble now down to Amestry. So uh, we're halfway, we reckon we're halfway now, aren't we? Halfway of the whole thing. So we're going to push on and we're going to go on to Croft Castle as per plan if we can uh, if we can make it past the pub at Amestry. Well, we're just having a chill and look at that for a view. That's where we've come from. I think that's Wapley isn't it over there? Ooh, look at that. We are a bit knackered though, we're a bit broke. Just a bit. <coughs> Saddle sore as well, eh? Oh, a bit of chafing. <laughs> Bare thinking about. Here we are, afternoon, hope you can hear me. We're a bit tired now. We're at, uh, we're at Shobden Hill Wood, so we all know where that is, we've been here before. This is where I came up, stashed the water, brought the drone, so I've, I can show you where we're walking now. I can insert the footage, but what you won't have seen from that is that amazing view there. Because uh, when I did the drone footage, it was all misty. But uh, yeah, it was uh, the right call a couple of weeks ago. It was foggy and misty and 
potential thunderstorms, I think, wasn't it? it, was, it was, actually, so we would have got west. We would have got horribly west. That, that bit coming up that hill doesn't bear thinking about in a thunderstorm. But, um, yeah, we've done, I think, the worst climb. We'll be all tired, though. Not like we do this every week. And uh, we've got a long slog now. Um, it'll be nice scenery, but it's going to be a long route to Amesbury, where we cross the, cross the road from Webley to Pembridge, I think it is. And then, uh, then we've got one more climb up to Croft Ambry, and then I think we might conk conk there if we find somewhere uh, suitable. Okay, we've done the boring track bit, and uh, now we're down into, well, on the way to Upper Lingen, but we're going to cross the river, and then we're going to go along that little valley going up to the right. Uh, we're not quite tired, we're still going. I don't know how far we've got to go yet, but we'll work it out in a bit. The job, it's the longest day, put it that way. I'm just crossing the water, we're just debating uh, which one it is. So we'll, we'll consult the map in a minute. And tell you, but that looks nice. Nice if we just camped here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, a little trickle, that noise of the trickling water, and just drift away. What's the consensus? Well, it's Ames, it goes through Amesbury, so is that the lug? And of course, we haven't got the full map, have we? We've only got the bits with the trail on, so... Let's call it the lug. Yeah. Evening, folks. It's uh, ten past six, and we've just crossed the road at Amesbury, and we're on the next slog, the last slog of today. I don't know if you can see that, I can't be bothered to get up and show you better. We've just come from down, down there. Let's have a look, let's do the, do the camera holding. Oh, there you go, Graham will give you a tour. There we are, so that direction is over to, towards Amesbury, that's the main uh, 4110 you can hear. That looks like an easy path that we're very tempted to take, <laughs> yeah. but that is the path upwards. Oh, you back to so yeah, we're having a little breather. We are very tired now, muscles and feet. But the uh, incentive is if we can get to Croft Castle and and crash there, uh, it's a cracking little camp spot. And uh, and yeah, we've broke the back of it then. So tomorrow, uh, you know, we'll be a bit more upbeat, knowing that we've uh, two thirds of the way there. So we're going to crack on. So it could be could be late though. Stumping. Yeah, we've got plod on. <laughs> so we'll show you when we get to the top. See if we get to the top. Hello again. Right, it is. Just gone half past six. Uh, we're now on the Croft Estate. So we can smell our tea. And we're sort of salivating it. Sitting there with a nice hot cup of coffee and yeah, take the, these bloody boots off. Um, but we've still got a little bit to go yet. We've just got to get out of these little fields and up into the into the forest. But uh, we've got some amazing... We have been lucked out with the weather. This has been fantastic. It hasn't been too hot. A little breeze. But we are struggling now. We, uh, in an ideal world, we would have stopped sort of Amesbury strategically placed bed and breakfast and I think we would have probably got a lift back to the cars from there <laughs> we'd have done that but we're going to soldier on not far now there we go here's another style we love styles this time of day they're just right for your quads evening I don't know what time it is because my watch has gone off but, uh, we're on the last little bit now the Croft Ambry, and we are done. We've actually over, uh, over underestimated what we can do. 
But, uh, so very much looking forward to just getting there and getting these packs off and just lying down. A cup of tea. Not a lot else. Got nice views to our left though, and well, that's going to be sunset, isn't it, over there? We're going to get that later. About 10 o'clock tonight. Not that we'll, so we'll probably miss it. You all right there, Great. What? Conversation, we've oh, run out of things to say. Yeah, we're all totally fire trucked. We don't know what to say. In fact, we don't want to talk. So we're just getting there. In fact, there's, that's where we got to get to. Where? That little spur there with those sort of four or five trees sticking out. Yeah. That's it. Evening, folks. It's uh, 20 past eight and we are at Croft Ambry. Embry, Ambry, and uh, we've had some tea, and we've we've made an executive decision to uh, call it a day here. So we've sent for help, which is reluctantly coming a bit later on. Uh, that we've realised that 20 miles in a day is too, too much, old too old farts. <laughs> we are broken. So uh, it's been an, an education and an experience. It's been good fun. Well. That, Mostly, last but for the, the last bit wasn't. But um, yeah, that's the news update really. So we'll we'll show you the video of us crying in the car on the way home. <laughs> we have some have some more tea first. Okay, thanks for watching. Afternoon. All back home now. All showered, uh, slept, recovered, uh, and I've been back to editing. The video to uh, put it all together and I realized that the the end of it needs a bit more of an explanation than I perhaps gave it at the time um, we realized that we were all a bit broken that night and uh, I think on reflection 20 miles carrying all the kit for certainly for us to um, was a bit beyond we should have looked at 12 to 15 miles between a for a camp really between camps uh, so we learnt that, um, some of our clothing kit, um, stuff like that wasn't ideal, uh, got in the way. Uh, so we learnt, learnt a lot as you do, doing these things. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have another day at it and we're going to, um, probably won't need the camping gear. Uh, we might just go up for the evening and um, see the sunset. Uh, and then we're going to leave that last section uh, from Croft Castle to Ludlow or we might do it from Ludlow to Croft Castle but we are going to finish it uh, and see it all through and if you look at the whole route um, you know, we've done about two thirds of it so I think we did 20 miles on that day uh, so we've got about 10 miles left to do which will be a nice day and if we pick the right weather it'll be cracking scenery so don't despair um, not a total fail but uh, more still to be done so uh, we'll see you in uh, part two very soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.